Being in chronic pain for 14 days straight really takes a toll on your mental health. Hey guys, it's Rani. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a little story time about when I got COVID during my tonsillectomy recovery process. First things first, I'm going to give you guys a list of essentials that you're going to need in order to survive your recovery process. So the most important thing you're going to need is two ice packs. I know I debated on getting one or two before my uh, surgery, but you're definitely going to need two. One in the freezer freezing up and then one on your body at all times. So you can constantly switch back and forth. There was never a time that I didn't have an ice pack on my neck just because it helped relieve so much pain. So the second really important thing you should be getting are popsicles. Um, when you're eating popsicles, it really just relieves so much pain. I literally went through about a box of popsicles like a day. They tell you to stay away from ice cream just because like the dairy I think coats the back of your throat. But I definitely recommend some fruity popsicles. The next very important thing that I suggest is getting a humidifier. It really helps keep the air from getting too dry at night and then it also helps you sleep. Okay, so now we're going to get into my story time of how I got COVID while also recovering from a tonsillectomy. So the morning of my surgery, I got there about 6 o'clock in the morning. Um, I sat there for probably like 10 minutes and then I got pulled back into a room. Uh, they confirmed my negative COVID results and then they switched me to a different room to undress and hook me up to an IV. After I got hooked up to my IV, I met the anesthesiologist, all my nurses, and then the surgeon. I told them how I was a little bit nervous because it was my first surgery, so they gave me a sedative and then next thing you know, I was knocked out. So the good thing is I never saw the operating room and I honestly never even saw the hallway leading to the operating room. I just remember them opening the door and started to push my bed out and then I fell asleep. Next thing you know, a nurse is waking me up with a popsicle in my hand and then she's telling me my dad is here to pick me up. <laughs> so day one feels like pretty much the worst case of strep though you could have. It's not as bad as you would think it would be. Um, so day one, I would really take advantage of hydrating because this will be the easiest day to swallow without too much pain. They tell you not to talk too much after your surgery. Um, I know my voice changed so much. Like I'll put in a clip of what it sounded like but it almost sounded like I had like a completely different accent. Um, I couldn't even stick out my tongue really. It was, it just was, it just hurt way too bad. I am talking a little bit weird. Like I'm literally tongue tied. One thing that was so weird about this whole process is that your uvula gets ginormous it was like literally the size of my whole throat every time i swallowed i could feel my uvula like going back it was just so weird um also as you are healing and going through the recovery process your the back of your throat turns completely white and those are considered the scabs that are forming um and they do fall off as you heal which is the most disgusting thing you could ever think of. I was probably asleep when I did swallow them, which is perfectly fine for me because if I was awake, I would have died probably um, just having that experience. But um, yeah. Day two, the pain definitely increased, but day three, the pain became very hard to deal with. On day three, I dealt with excessive saliva, so I was swallowing a lot more just to keep it down. And then my cheeks got super swollen, my neck was super swollen, and my pain probably peaked to like a 9 out of 10. So now that my pain has peaked um, to such a high level, I started to take my pain medicine a lot more often. I could only take my pain medicine like an hour in between each other. It was very bad. I started to run out of my medicine and had to actually call for a refill, which was very hard to get because they are, I guess, don't want you to have too much oxycodone. So on day four, I actually threw up because I was taking my pain meds way too close together. And then after throwing up, I started to have this horrible taste in my mouth that almost tasted like how I would assume flesh would taste like. It just tasted like death in my mouth. I actually had to go to sleep just to not taste it. And it was it was just crazy. Um, but eventually the taste went away, which I thought was great, but I guess it was leading to more unexpected things. 
by day four i also tried to eat ramen noodles and this is something i would definitely suggest you not do no matter how soft you think the noodles are i swallowed some noodles and then i got this super sharp pain through my whole face and throat and i literally never wanted to eat again the entire time by day five and six my mental health was like kind of declining just from being in constant chronic pain for six days i was like okay when am i gonna feel some relief like i thought by now i would at least be like in less pain but it was still very strong by day six um by day seven i probably cried like three days in one day just because of being in so much pain um it definitely takes an emotional toll on you so just maybe have like a good support system and um cry a lot just to get your emotions out <laughs> by the night of day seven i just remember being in so much pain crying myself to sleep that i thought in my head like i should go to the doctor um just to make sure everything is okay and um when i woke up in the middle of the night it was probably like 5 a.m i told my dad that i need to go to the hospital so he took me to the hospital they tested me for strep throat covid and then just infection wound infections um during the covid test they made me actually sit on my hands just so i wouldn't grab the guy because he knew it was going to be painful he literally stuck the like cotton swab or whatever so far up my nose that it like tapped my brain it was the most painful thing ever um it just like stung a lot actually um and he had to do it twice through both nostrils um, and i was waiting for my test results to come back he left in a regular mask and then this lady comes back about 10 minutes later in a full-blown gas mask and i'm like sheesh i guess i have covid like not not her having a full-blown gas mask on it was just kind of funny actually but i remember i was just like so exhausted emotionally that i literally cried when they said that i had covid like i, I thought it was like the end of the world or something but it was just a couple tears honestly but i just teared up a little and i was like wow i have covid too I'm not completely sure if COVID led to my pain being so intense, but um, I definitely recommend not getting COVID while recovering. On the bright side of getting COVID, I got three weeks off from work, but I thought back to day four when I was tasting the taste of actual death and how it just went away. So then I started to really pay attention if I could taste anything and it was the craziest thing. like drinking apple juice and not tasting anything like i was in shock because apple juice is so strong like you would taste it no matter what like but it was just gone completely and i remember making rice water and uh for my hair and i couldn't smell it at all and if you know anything about rice water you know it smells like crap like it doesn't smell good at all and that was my first time using it like i was probably so stank with rice water smell in my hair but yeah <laughs> by day eight in the middle of the day my pain had decreased significantly so i was just kind of in shock because i was in so much pain on day seven and then the middle of the day on day eight it was like fading away um I know every single morning you wake up, you're, the amount of pain you're going to be in is just like almost unbearable. Like it takes a minute for your, I guess it takes a minute for your body to like realize you're still in pain. I don't know. Like when you wake up, you're just like in so much pain. It's like a burning incision, sore throat, strep throat whatever type of pain um every single morning and pretty much every single time you wake up you're like in that same pain um i don't know what it is i guess from i don't know what i don't know why <laughs> but by day nine i had a lot more time in between uh taking my medicine 
so I knew the pain was decreasing that made me a lot happier and made me like kind of see a light at the end of the tunnel like it just made things a lot easier so one thing that was very hard during this process was all your food cravings I was craving chicken tenders and french fries the entire time. They'll give you like a pamphlet of stuff to stay away from and stuff to eat. I know during this whole process, I almost felt like I was starving uh, at some point because I couldn't eat mashed potatoes. I couldn't even eat really soft noodles because of the experience I had earlier in the week of getting a super sharp pain through my throat. Um, so I didn't even want to try to eat anything like even soft. I started to get really tired of the chicken broth taste as well. So I just slept for dinner most of the time. Um, so I ended up losing probably 15 pounds just in that like seven day period. Um, so that was definitely crazy. It made me feel physically weak and it made me feel mentally weak. So that was really hard as well. By day 10, 11, 12, um, the only pain that was really hard to deal with by then was just the waking up in the morning pain. Um, like I said, every time you wake up in the morning, you were in a lot of pain and then you like eventually got used to it um, as, as the day went on. I got my surgery on February 1st and by about February 20th, I was relieved of all pain. So it does take more than 14 days to be relieved of all pain and to be completely comfortable again. I've never had a sore throat since getting my tonsillectomy and I used to get sore throats like every single week. Um, I definitely recommend getting your tonsils removed if you need them. Um, don't be scared about the pain because it is temporary and it's gonna test you but it's most definitely worth it. Oh.